Okay, greetings, greetings, everyone. Positive energy all the time. We are here. Good to see you, James. Uh, good to see you, Yaya, Will of the Most High, Queen of the Don, Pensy Lola, the beautiful Nicole, B. Dolo, Michael Lee, Partis, Mrs. Moore, D'Angelo, Mrs. Moore is also a cutie, but uh, a beautiful Arnell, Jessica that I can't see that is probably also cute, Miss Fabulous T, looking great. Taylor Sherman is here, Drip the Hoodie, Quaylen is here, Eric Davis, Jamal is here, Blanche is here, Ramal, Will of the Most High. Good to see everybody. We are here. Black Caesar, good to see you. Mikey Greenhouse, Andre, Trap Bloggers, Truly is here. Let's get it cracking. So I had to go and get JT over here to defend himself. It's only right. You know how we are. A lady will get to talk it. We'll jump on the lady side. You know we in the hood. We don't trust nothing. We'll start dragging JT before we even get the story. So I'm going to keep it true and balanced. And y'all be be gracious. And uh, much respect to JT. The man of the hour. What's up, JT? What's up, brother? You've been getting bashed and trashed. <laughs> so what's the deal? It's a pleasure. First, I want to say... You know, we honor you on all the great stuff you've done in the music game. That's right off the top. Appreciate it, brother. You know, your reputation precedes you, all right? Yes, sir. So I had the sister over there. I tried not to say nothing, just let her say what she's going to say. And then I said, you know, and then you hit me up. I said, it's only fair to hear both sides of the story. Yes, sir. So what I want you to do, brother, I want you to go from the very beginning, how she contacted you, how, when she sent you the money for the trip, when she was coming. You just tell the story. I'm not going to say nothing. Go from A to Z. You got the floor. Okay. First of all, she didn't never contact me first. Her husband contacted me first. He contacted me I have a platform called Trap Flicks. I had a package where I was letting people invest and buy a part of what I'm doing with the uh, subscribers on my own platform. There is advertising dollars based upon how many subscribers I have. So I said, well, let me put a package together for some people who might want some land, not only Trap Flicks, but I'm backing it up with land. It was a thousand dollar package. I bought some acres in Kenya. Well, first I bought acres in Burkina Faso. Then I moved over to Kenya because they speak English. It made it very easy for me to move around and negotiate for myself. A lot of people did not have money to buy an acre, a half an acre, a quarter acre. So what I did was I said, well, let me just buy this land, put some water on the land, build the water well, and I'll just make some smaller sizes so people could be able to still be able to afford some land that come with free water. In Africa, if you have land and no water, you just bought you just bought some land and you're not going to really be able to do nothing. So that package, her husband was the one that bought the package and he said, I'm coming to Kenya so I can meet you. I want to, you know, come to the land. And I want to network with you, period. I just want to network first and foremost. I see what you're doing. I like what you're doing. I believe in what you're doing. So this is my this is my contribution. So that was in um that was in 2022 sometime. I don't know exactly what month, but around I think December is when the conversation started. Uh no, actually, hold on. Let me take that back. Let me back up a little bit. In November or October is when they said, we're, we're coming. It's going to be in December. So I said, cool. Well, 
the, the whole the whole uh trip changed and he said he's not coming his wife is coming i said cool we need a place to stay i have some apartments out there so i said well i'll let you get the apartment for 600 you can take it for the whole month that'll come with a housekeeper i have a driver if you need it you could pay the driver that can take you around do whatever you need i've done this for many people who came to kenya okay when she got there it was a little odd that you know she was trying to like link with me but i thought i would be dealing with her husband so instead of physically linking with her i said let's just do everything through the phone because i wouldn't feel comfortable being in in the house that i rented you your husband is not here. My wife not here. And, you know, uh, let's just do everything through the phone. So that was working okay. Uh, I think the um, she was having some problem with power. You know, in Africa, the power cut out. So I made sure I got the power and stuff for her. She said she had some problems. The place wasn't all the way cleaned up right. I said, well, let me get somebody in there to get it right for you. Because somebody was there before her. Okay, um, in the midst of this, she kept texting me at 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock at night trying to have a meeting with me. And I had already told her, you know, I, I'm not, you know, we doing this business, but I can't be with you physically. I can't come to that house and you can't come to my house, even though I was right across the street. Mm -hmm. So she kind of was getting offended by that. Um, she also stated that she wanted to record a song with me. And I'm like, that was, that's not part of the deal. We, you know, I don't want to do no recording with you because I don't really know you like that. And I'm not doing music right now. I was in the process of actually moving to another house. I had upgraded. So, um, in the midst of that, she kind of started getting disrespectful to me, like talking to me like I was working for her or I was some little boy. I'm like, hold on, man. I'm a grown man. I'm the boss. I'm the CEO of this operation. You can't communicate with me like that. I sent you over a number of text messages, uh, brother, so I don't know how that's going to go. But that'll, that'll clear up a lot for the public. Uh, these te Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, she texts me something about she cramping on her period at four in the morning and i'm like whoa you are discussing some things with me that i shouldn't be hearing that i shouldn't be knowing about your period and all of this stuff okay so that's number one that's on one of the text messages if you could go to it because the people need to see that that is very important to this to clearing my name okay i think that's it right there she clearly is talking about I'm cramping. I need some medicine, you know, because I'm on my period. Okay, cool. So my driver went to, you know, help her out. His name is Philip. Help her to get them to, to go get her medicine or whatnot. Okay, cool. She start texting. Let me see. Can you go to uh <clears throat> go to? I can't really see it that good. Hold on, let me see. Can you uh the part where I told her? Uh, the way you talking to me, let me just give you your money back so you could go ahead and do your thing. And, and yeah, there you go. I think that's it. This and, is what this is the one with the lawyer where you're saying you have to transfer the Kenyan name. She's supposed to get her own lawyer to do the transfer, and she okay. said she didn't know nothing about that and she didn't know how to do it. And I'm like, okay, cool. You this know one about the blanket. I don't know if I ever got the other one. Oh yeah, offended. Nigga, I ain't even received my Traflix hoodie. Yeah. This when one. she started talking crazy like that, I'm like, let me give you a full refund. Is at, at the top, does it say about the refund? Because I can't really if you want a refund, no problem. You said you don't trust what sparked this. I ain't arguing with you. I'm done. I'm handling my business and I'm assisting you with anything you need as agreed. Anything else is something different than discussed. If you rather talk to my wife, no problem. My, my attitude shitty once I get offended. Damn. And, 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 and it's like, you know, 
uh, talking to me crazy, like with all that nigga stuff. Like I didn't put all the other stuff in there. Right. But that one little part. Can you go to the second paragraph? Right. It say, it say, or say offended, nigga. I ain't even received my traffic hoodie that you were supposed to send me months ago. The fuck you mean? My attitudes towards you should have been shitty a long time ago. Now I don't want to. Now I don't even want it. If you can't even honor sending a simple hoodie, then who can trust you? But now, God, Allah sees everything, and He will be the final judge of the offense. What she's also talking about, she's in never state. That I said, if that's what you want, baby girl, I can get your hoodie. The hoodie was getting was being made for her when this was going on. So she's using this hoodie that I told her I would get for her with the trap leaks. She's using that as, as this is what the problem is about. But the problem wasn't the hoodie. It was the way she was talking to me like I was a little boy. And I'm like, hey, 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 you need to calm down because talking like that is not gonna get nothing done. And can you go to the next one? I need you to go, uh, go to the next one for me, brother. I need the people to see this other one. Well, you sent her money back? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's one of them. We'll go, go to the next one. I haven't been perfect in my marriage. I broke the trust almost a year ago. Every day I'm asking the most high and my husband to forgive me. Yeah, you know. I don't no, no, know. No, no. Keep reading, brother. Keep forgive reading. me. Restoring trust in my marriage is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm crying as I tell you my truth. One day I'll be brave enough to talk about it on my platform. I hurt my husband and he didn't deserve it. I'm so ashamed. You said keep prayer. May God's blessing cover your family. The new place is ready. You try to go back to business, right? Okay, when you get a chance, please send me the address so I can forward it to my husband so he can know the new place. Right. Okay. Did she say on your platform that I kicked her out and she was pregnant? I think so. Nah, we need to know for facts because this was a big she part. She said that you got put out in the rain, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. First of all, the first text, she got her period. Then all of a sudden, I'm pregnant and I'm putting you out. I told her, you can't talk to me any kind of way. And if this is how you're going to talk, let me give you a refund. She rejected the refund. Her husband called me and he said, nah, man, you know how women are, bro. Just, just give her a chance to calm down, bro. Like, I need y'all to work through this. And I told her husband... I say, bro, I got my own wife. She don't talk to me like that. You need to check your wife, bro. She can't come way to Africa talking to me like I'm just some regular nigga or something like that. Like, you are in my house. So I need to give you your money back so that you could go your own way. I don't want no traffic business. I don't want no land business with you. None of that. Because you didn't get a lawyer. Like I told y'all when you first went in America, I told anybody dealing with me, I say in Kenya, the laws are different from American land. You have to go through a Kenyan or you have to go through a trust uh, firm, a law firm who holds land for foreigners. You pay a yearly fee and they hold it until you get your citizenship. I'm three years into getting my citizenship in Kenya. I have three more years before I am a legal citizen. So until that time, I paid the lawyers to hold the land in the trust. I gave the lawyers a list. It's 35 people who bought a little piece of land. Their, their names is on a trust. When people have 2,000 square feet and they talk about separating it up into a different trust or something like that, they have to pay transfer fees. They have to pay a lawyer, their own lawyer. And this campaign that started against me actually didn't start with her. It started with another guy who was actually living at my house that I let live there. I won't say his name, but 
when I tell people no, that's when the slander and the hate start and they go to YouTube and they make these videos. So if I did something wrong illegally, they would have arrested me there. She actually called the police and they came and arrested me because she said, this is a fake land. My lawyer had to get up in the middle of the night and bring the documents there and say, nah, he bought this land. I'm his attorney. This is legal. And they said, just give her her money back because she's in here making all these complaints that's actually not uh, valid. You, you are, you, you making, you trying to make me like a criminal when I've been in this country for two and a half years, never been in jail, never been arrested. They got people who do fake land deals there and they, when they are caught, they go to jail and they go to jail for a long time for fraud. That is something that I have been dealing with those accusations for maybe four people out of 35 people because they realized they didn't have enough money to either to buy the container homes, because that's what I, I recommend that people don't try to build no house, just buy container homes. Container homes out there go for 9,000, 10,000, a one bedroom, or they make you a two bedroom out of the 40 foot containers, 40 by eight foot. They sell them. You could get it decorated the way you want. It come with the plumbing. It come with the electricity. And it's the best thing uh, going for somebody who coming from America. So this lady, for whatever reason, felt comfortable to tell me all her husband business and all this stuff that I didn't sign up for that. Like she was trying to reel me in to come to her house with well, my house that she's renting to have these meetings and I came out here and I thought I was going to be with you and I'm like be with me no I don't know you like that see I, if you read what I said in the text message I said I don't trust nobody first right. of all because I don't know who you are and my instincts paid off right because how she go from having a period to now you pregnant you was there 30 days if you left pregnant it wasn't for me you know, you you came there your first few days. You say you cramping with periods. Now let me that, let me ask you something, JT. Can you buy land in Africa, or do you can only lease it? They have two ways to do it. I bought freehold land, and I and when you buy freehold land, that means that whoever buys it for me is purchased. I'm not renting the land. That's called leasehold land. Leasehold is where you buy some land or you buy a house or whatever you buy, and it's 50 years, 90 years, all of that. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to purchase it and then put it in a trust. There are companies there that that's what they specialize. The Chinese people who come there, they don't own that land. It's an illegal trust firm that holds it. And that is the legal way that you can have the land, but you either put it in someone's name that's a citizen, or you have to put it in a trust. And that is what I did. When I got to Kenya, the laws in Burkina Faso are different from Kenya. Okay. Okay, so when you buy an ancestral land, when you buy an agriculture land, there's also a, a form you have to pay called change of use of the land. So you might have bought it and it was agriculture. But if you want to make it subdivisions and all these different things of adding more houses and residential, you have to put in the form, which costs money, change of use of land. That take about six months to finalize. But until then, the chief of the land, the elders of the land, I have a video on my channel showing the chief, showing the local government, all of these important people and all of the elders from the community, stamping me, putting this elder hat on my head. We doing a ribbon cutting. They gave me a staff. They made me an elder over the land. Like you came and built water and you giving us free water. We got to give you your elbow room. I told them I have many Americans that's trying to come to Africa. We want to be right here with y'all. Y'all can use the water and we use the water. That was the agreement. And that's pretty much how this thing went. But 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 there's things about people when they asking me for extra stuff and I say, look, 
I didn't agree to do songs. I didn't agree to hang out with you. I don't know you. So instead of me putting myself in harm's way, because imagine if I would have went with this lady or went over there with this lady, she could have said, I did something to her. I raped her. I assaulted her. You know, all of these different things. And I'm like, she already putting it out there like, oh, I'm so pregnant. And he put me out in the rain. Man, it was not, that is not true. It was not raining when I offered you the refund and you did not want the money back. You wanted to try to work something out. Her husband wanted to work something out. And I'm like, man, I don't even want to do this. So she went to the police and said, well, he took something from me. And that wasn't true. None of that was true. Now, um, what's this story she got where you didn't show up at the airport? When I didn't show up at the airport, I'm not a, I'm not, I never was supposed to be at no airport. There's a driver that was fair for her. I'm not supposed to be at no airport. I never agreed to that. I'm not a chauffeur. Mm -hmm. No. And my lawyer went, my lawyer got her her paperwork to come to the country. The next morning, my lawyer brought her to my house. That's the first time that I seen her in person. And I didn't let her come in my house. I say, nah, let me put you in a hotel while they get the house ready for you. Because she came one day earlier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I was trying to look for a way to get at you. I was looking for any holes, right? <laughs> but this right here offended. Nigga, I ain't even received my trap fix. See, she lost me right there. Because I don't see you saying nothing. I don't see you saying bitch, hoe, nigga. I don't see you saying none of that. So, like, right there, I'm not feeling that. I ain't going to lie. And, and I, in my look, court, in my court, you win in this case just based on that. Because that right there, that's out of line. And also, why would you tell me about cheating with you, on your husband at 2, 3 in the morning when that man didn't tell me you cheated? You offering information to me, probably thinking that, oh, she open for cheating. And she want me to come over and be a comfort of some sort, maybe. I don't know. Why are you texting me in the middle of the night? Why are you calling me at 2 in the morning? Man, I am not coming over there. I don't want to hear no songs. We not. She, did you see the other text where she say, can you take me to go perform some of my songs? Let me see. Where that's at, man? Yeah, you're not going to make me look crazy. Not at all, man. Hold on. Is that it? She got her daughter's song. She's sending to me. Look, I'm not here to sign no record deals, man. We're not doing all that. Right. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. Now, I got to always be honest. I ain't trying to step on the sister, but I got to be honest. And for most of us, her coming there without her husband, we ain't really feeling that. Because we like, dude, you sent your wife all the way to Africa by herself? With a man. Right. So I, I gotta be I sent my wife to Africa with a man to go to his house. Right. It seemed like he in on the setup because he we talked and he told me, man, come on, JT, bro, don't give her the money back. We need to stay in with you. We on God plan, all these different things. And I'm like, nah, you can't use God plan as a word to just make me put my guards down. I clearly said I don't trust nobody. I protect myself. I've been a target. They've been telling. When I first got to Africa, they said, when I bought my first land, it was a whole YouTube campaign. All oh, the land fake. Oh, it's a scam. You know, I fell up under that. I say this what I'm going to do. I'm not going to argue with the people. I'm going to just walk and show how I really get down. I built two water wells in Burkina Faso. I bought 10 acres. I built this little small house there. People saw that and was amazed, like, damn, you all the way from America and you in a village by yourself with all these people? Yeah, I ain't scared. I came over here. They said that, they, that we wasn't welcome in Africa. They said that I was gonna get killed over there. They said that they was gonna rob me and take my shit and all that stuff. I never got robbed. I never got hit. I never got jumped. I never got pressed on by no villagers talking about what you doing here. Then people was so happy to see that I wasn't scared mm. to be in a village. Mm. 
by myself with a pocket full of money. I come from Fillmore, San Francisco, Bay Area, California. Man, it's worse in America than it is over there. You mm -hmm. could die over here going to the gas station. You could die taking your kids to Walmart over there. I'm like, man, they ain't even got guns. Everybody, <laughs> I see some knives. Man, I ain't scared of this, man. What the hell I'm going to be scared? I went and got my sign, Fillmore, Africa. I'm putting it up there. The black Americans, I never call a black American to say, you need to come with me. You need to be with me. All the black Americans was calling me saying, JT, let me get some of that land. JT, let me get me 2,000 square feet, just enough to put one of them containers and have a look. I say, you know what? I'm going to make my business model off selling small pieces of land, protected up under the trust with an attorney. I never did nothing without an attorney because people over there, the land scammers, they look for them. Because once you pay for the land through the internet and all that stuff, they disappear. I brought my wife. I brought my kids. I put my family on display. What scammer put his wife and kids on display? What scammer tell you where their address is at? What scammer go live every day after you done did business with 35 people who bought land? Some people say, JT, I got child support issues. I might not be able to make it. They bought the land in 2021. I think I want to sell my land. I put out a video say, who want to sell their land back? Because the price of the land have doubled. So if I buy your, because this, is, let me tell you the next scandal that's going to come out before it come out. Anybody who sell me their land back, I'm buying it for what they sold it for. Or they can keep it. If they sell it to me, I'm selling it for double the money right now. The prices have shot up out there right now. Why, JT? Because I got water on the land. It's Africans that want part of that land. Why? I got free water already paid for. $30,000. Shout out to people who send donations to help make that happen too. Because I paid, but it was people that were sending contributions like JT. I'm never coming to Africa, but I want to put some on that water well. I see them kids. I see them mamas got that water. I, sh I got a video on Fillmore Africa channel that show how dry it was and how they digging to get water out of some type of thing where it used to be a lake. Now it then got, it, it, it's, it's five, six, seven feet wide. And the, whatever water was on this lake, you got to dig the sand up. Throw the sand out, and then the water starts to come up a little bit more. And they going through that. I got a film on my on my um on my channel called Filmo Africa. I, and then I and I also put up the video where all the elders and the government officials from that area called McQuaney County came together when I made the announcement that I'm gonna buy this land and I'm gonna put free water. I got the before and after video. The people got to look deeper into stuff. Like, it sounds good that, oh, JT scammed somebody. JT, man, they've been saying that so long, i either be dead or in jail. You know what, JT, I ain't going to lie. That's America make us like that. Because it's the programming. We, you know how it is over here? Even me, I was trying to find something wrong with your ass. Now I'm saying? Bogus as fuck, right? And so now I talk to you, I'm like, okay, this is why I don't all the way jump conclusions. I might be a little suspicious, but I'm not going to get out here just making video after video, dragging nobody. I could just talk to you first, right? Like a G, like, okay, let me get him over here. Let me see what he got to say before I jump all out the window like that. You feel me? A lot of people jumped out the window, so they making videos, but I'm still going on, man. I didn't did it. I have been successful for three years in Africa with no major backup. Me, my wife, my kids, we did it, man. Now, why, are, why am I back in America? The last five or six months of being in Kenya, I recognized the income that I was making is from music. I'm making income from music. But as far as having a storefront, I wanted to sell food. I wanted to sell clothing. I wanted a barber shop or a beauty shop or something like that, right? Man, they charging two dollars in Kenyan money, and in American money, that's a, that's even less than that. Three hundred shillings is probably maybe two dollars. 
So you get your money over here, because then it's more over there. And it's more over there. But look what happened, though. American $100 used to come back to Fourteen thousand shillings. Okay, one hundred American used to come back to fourteen thousand shillings. So if you equate it, fourteen thousand shillings is a hundred dollars. But over there, something might cost ten thousand shillings. That's around worth a hundred bucks. So you might have four uh, four thousand extra shillings. My rent was eighty thousand shillings. That's about 600 and some American dollars. So when I see 80,000 over there, that's like 800, right? Mm -hmm. But when I bring American dollars, it's only 600 and some change. So mm -hmm. that kept me going over there for a long time. Mm -hmm. I was loving it. I watched it go from $100 being 14, go down to 11,500. Mm -hmm. Then I watched it go back up to 12,000. About a month ago, it was back up to 14,000. They made the announcement out of all the places in the world. When I came back to America, I said, well, let me go get me some money back in America right now. So when I go back, I could build my, get my container houses and do, you know, do what I really want to do because I don't want to pay no rent over there. I want to move on my land in a double decker, 240 by foot containers build my swimming pool my basketball court like all the things that i would like to do but the income i was making over there i wasn't smiling no more because i'm watching it go down and then it go up when i i came back over here uh i think it was february i went to savior's day to see minister farrakhan a few days after that because he made an announcement like hey brothers and sisters the war of armageddon has started that little Ukraine stuff, that's small. It's about to transfer around the world and it's going to come to these shores right here. So you need to be preparing you and your family. And I'm like, man, the war of Armageddon. About seven days after that, out of all the presidents in the whole world, why did the Kenya president <laughs> make an announcement and say, anybody in our country, if you hold an American dollars, you better do something with them now. Hmm. But all those who work numbers, you better do whatever you're going to do now because in a few weeks, things are going to change. Hmm. And then they start coming out with more people talking about this country, that country. They join their forces and they don't want to work with the American dollars no more and all that. So hmm. I really felt like God really blessed me to go do all of that there hmm. because now that I'm back here, I've been back home for three months. I'm watching how food costs over here, gas costs over here, rent prices cost. I'm looking at the car prices. I'm looking at if these folks stop using the dollar, then what's going to happen to us over here? Right. The price is going to keep going up until the bubble pop. I'm not a, I'm not an economist. I'm not a politician. I'm just a black man that's been in business for 30 years independently. I never had a big job or nothing like that. So I understand money. Buy low, sell high. Being in Africa, I never saw hunger the way that I see hunger in Africa. I never saw people that don't have electricity and running water and they live in this area that's not far from my house. But over here, you got to get a battery. You got to get a wire and try to sneak it to some type of electric, electric pole or something. There is no running water right here, and they, they call them slums. You don't have your own bathroom. 200 people might share three bathroom stalls, four bathroom stalls. Hmm. It's just a hole in the ground. And I'm watching people go to work in regular places of work. They dress like something normal, but they go back and live like this. Hmm. That's what used to touch my heart so much about giving back and let me help with the water and let me hire people and do these different things. But after three years, there was nobody that was helping me. Mm. I'm just using me and my wife and my kids' money. And then sometimes people be like, JT, let me send you something for the donation. Let me help with that, bro. Let me, because I'm not coming to Africa, but let me send you a hundred. Let me send you 50. Let me send you 500. Sometimes people would just do that out the kindness of their heart. 
because they like, man, I'm watching you over there by yourself doing a whole lot of work, brother. This is definitely not normal. And this ain't popular with black Americans. Most black Americans, they going to go enjoy the, the tourism of it. Right. right. Okay, mostly it's tourism enjoyment. Most of the black Americans who come there, they're not interested in going in Cabrera, Kangemi, Dunholm, Bob and Dogo. These are slums where you could die at. But on my videos, you see me walking through there by myself. I go to the store. I could spend hundred dollars and feed damn near two hundred people. I could spend three hundred, and I could spend uh, take care of almost five hundred people with three hundred dollars. I would buy the unga. It's a uh, uh, it's corn maize. It's like a flour. That's the number one food. If you starving in Africa, or at least in Kenya anyway, they got these unga packs. A uh, unga pack is uh, two kilograms. And it used to cost 150 shillings, less than a dollar. The price had went up to 250 shillings. The president just made an announcement and said, we're going to bring it back down to 150 shillings. People were starving based upon him raising the price twice because on any given day, the average person might can hustle up 500 shillings, 300 shillings per day. And that's hustling up, doing some little different things like little, uh, well, you know, I don't know exactly what they would do, but the average person income is about $3 a day, $2 a day. If you make more than that, you're doing pretty good. Okay. So uh, being in that environment, brother, um, I just started seeing that my finances, I might get my check from America for music and movies and all the stuff I do. I get residual income. So it made it easy for me to live over there without really struggling. But now when I want to build my house and I want to buy the container and I want to get my solar panels and all of that, that's when I started to see like, man, you not making enough money over here. You just living off your residual that's coming in. That's not enough to buy what I want. Right. So I have to plan, come back to America and give me some more money over here before this American dollar fall, before whatever happened here, I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm like, oh, since I've been back, I've been making more money <laughs> than I was making over there. So, yeah, yeah. brother, uh, my story is definitely unique. Um, and those that's trying to, to discredit me or to destroy my legacy of what I've done through the people on the YouTube and the people, they're not even paying attention. If they just look at what I post, I post my lawyer number. I post the deed to the land. I posted everything to clear that up, but people still like, nah, it's fake. It must be fake, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, if it was fake, they would have arrested me. I would be in jail over there. Ain't no way they if, that Listen, up. if you were scanning, you'd still be in jail right now. I got to tell you, Matt, straight. Straight like that. They would not have let me out. You just sold all this, man, and you ain't paid for it. You're going to jail, we holding your ass. And the yeah. American embassy, they would have been okay with that. The American embassy been like, hold you. Straight right. up. Nah, man, I paid for my land, man. I got the right to charge whatever price I want for for inches, for, for square meters, or whatever. I got the right to put my own price. So I seen uh, just the hate of my business ability to get a lawyer, to pay for it, to pay for the solar power water system, pay for the hydraulic pumping system, to pump it on the outside of my fence. For the community to have a free part, a free spot to get water, and then all the people who bought land, y'all got free water because ain't no use of buying no land coming to Africa and you don't got access to clean water. Listen, I'm gonna testify. You definitely a G. Ain't no if, ands, or buts about it because you hit me right away. I come on your platform. If not, it's cool. I'm like, oh man, he ain't. You wouldn't have con you wouldn't have contacted me if you was full of shit. Ain't no way. Come on, bro. We we be outside. We know. And being a black American, this is what I can say. You don't see no Africans complaining about me. You only see black Americans with assumptions, allegations, rumors, slander, gossip. Yeah. But yeah. if I was doing wrong, you should see some Africans. They've got their channels, too. That's they would have right. been like, this guy JT came over here. He was a That's bad right. man. He was That's still in right. line. Man, JT got money. I bet, man, I still get paid off my albums from 1992.
That's right. Everything I did from 92 to right now, I own 100%. I'm so independent. I never did a publishing deal. I never did a copyright deal. I never sold my masters. If you ever heard any song with me on it from my company, all the money comes to me, man. I just look like this. I These see are you. things I like. I don't I've seen, I, I seen you feeding people in Burkina. I watched it. Come on, man. The whole time I was there. I watched it. Can't nobody fool me. You legit. You legit. I've seen it with my, I'm listening to you right now. It sound all legit to me, straight up. And it's verifiable, and I'm gonna keep, and, and, and one thing, I'm, uh, what I wanna say, let me, let, me, let me pull this out. I got about 25 of these full of everything I done. I don't do nothing without filming it. Why? Because people will say I didn't do it. Mm. Because people kept telling me like, JT, you know you kinda like making history. There's others who've been to Africa, started businesses and lived, but you went where the people at, boy, and you did some dangerous looking shit. You can't fake that, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true, bro. That's true. But you know what? I'm in. Lock my number in. I'm in. Uh, we're going to work. I'm going to send donations and all that. I, I, I'm real. Uh, I, I'm kind of amazed. I think uh, I think you're amazing. I ain't going to lie. I appreciate that love too, brother. And you are OG with the eye and ear of discernment. So you would have been able to see through some foolery if I came on here with some foolery. You would have been like, hey, man. I right. I would have seen it. I couldn't check you. I couldn't check you, bro. You was check, you checkmated everything I was going to say. I'm like, damn. This nigga, this nigga legit. What the fuck? Hey, and I'm gonna send you some more. I'm gonna send you some more. Uh, some more screenshots, bro, of my deeds, my lawyer info. Like, bro, I got a one lawyers, bro. That's why the lawyer, like, man, these people crazy. JT, they coming over here thinking it's America. Y'all gotta follow our laws. We're not going by what you think you' supposed to get. Well, right. I need to get my paperwork like this. Nah, right. you gotta be. Get, you gotta be part of this trust because you only bought a little piece of land. Now, if right. you're mad that you can't get no new type of paperwork like America, then you should have did your homework before you bought this land. Because that ignorance is not an excuse in the court of law. Right. If you sent your money, and I told you, go on Google, call you a lawyer, because anybody buying land, I don't want you to use my attorney. I want you to use your own attorney like America. Right. People was like, man, I don't, I don't know, man. And you know what I mean? Just some crazy stuff, bro. So they start trying to use that ignorance as a way to say, well, he scammed me then. Nah, you just a fool. If you sent this man money and you didn't call a lawyer, you didn't ask nobody, you a fool then, man. Come on, man. That's mm -hmm. crazy as hell to me. But I accept it, y'all. I accept it. So anybody who's watching this right now, I accept it all. Like they say, she put in there, yeah, God see everything. He did. He made me save your text messages, and now the world seeing you <laughs> for right. who you are, Miss Lady. Right. May God bless you, though, Miss Lady, and yeah. your pregnancy that you say you have. Right. Yeah, because you was on your period on the first week. So if you got pregnant, you got pregnant in Africa, straight up. And mm -hmm. I don't got nothing to do with it. So I'm not here to bash nothing, but she, since she kind of like trying to drag me and bash me, hey, ma'am. Your, your text messages is for the world to see. I hope you and your husband work it out because that was clearly a setup. And I thank God I went with my instincts. Don't go over there with that lady. Don't go over there at no 12 o'clock at night talking about let's have a meeting and let's work on songs and all that. Hell nah, man. We ain't got, we ain't, oh, no, we ain't doing none of that. Right. Right. I protected myself. Yep. Straight up. Straight up. So now we can buy land. We can be here and buy land and work out everything from here, or do we have to come over there? You can work it out from right here in America. Everything is through an attorney. I will connect you with my attorney, and you ain't got to buy it from me. He can help you get any type of land you want, and then you get another attorney so that my attorney could be a doorway, and then you get your own attorney right off Google. You check and make sure they verify and then that's how you can get the land and your land could be in a trust for you. Now, if you want to get that leasehold land, that's available too. But I wanted to purchase some land. That way we own it. And, and I and I could say I could do what I want. It ain't no amount of years. Because I'm in process of becoming a citizen. 
For those who just want to get land and you don't want to be a citizen, then you just pay your, your yearly fee for the attorney holding it in a trust for you. That's how the attorney make money. Because each year you would pay your fees and he just hold it until you do whatever you're ready to do with it. I'm on it, bro. I'm going to get in contact. I'm going to get me some. Because, uh, <laughs> hey, bro, you know, if we cannot trust you, I don't know why we can't not trust America. Like, why are we so quick not to trust you? But we trust these motherfuckers over here. Hey, man. I, and, you know, being a pioneer, this was part of God's plan. I'm going to bless you to go do this. But you got to take the heat from your brothers and sisters. They going to bash you. <laughs> <laughs> they going to beat you down. Oh, JT, you liar. You liar. Hey, well, you, you used to it. You used to it. I'm used to it. That's, that's how we I'm get out. That's how we, hey, listen. That's how we get out. That's why we don't go nowhere over here. Come on. Why we not going nowhere over here? That's why we don't can't get nothing done over here. Because, bro, the kind of money we be getting over here, we should be doing way better as a unit. Hey, look. That was my vision. Let me buy this land. I got a fence put around the land. I got the water well. My next door neighbor was my driver. His dad owned 25 acres around this land. I let them run a pipe to their house. Hmm. They got a full garden of every vegetable growing there, showing me how mines can look. Hmm. He's right there. I'm talking about the tomatoes, the onions, the garlic, the bell peppers. The uh uh the bananas, the papaya or what is it mangoes, uh uh, uh 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 parsley and hot peppers and I'm like man this look like Safeway man this look like like Walmart vegetable section mm. all right there all because of the free water that God blessed me to put right there mm. everybody who using they got their own neighborhood garden growing off that water. The food tastes so fresh, it don't taste like the food from Walmart. I promise you. Mm. The water out the ground, I went down 1,000 feet. No, what is it? It's 300 meters. So that's like 1,000 feet and maybe in some chains. Man, that water is so pure, it don't got no, no uh, arsenic, fluoride. Like some, like if you go down, mm. if you go down 300 feet, you subject to get some of that because you're still closer to the the soil. Mm -hmm. So the closer that you, the, 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 the shallower that you go, the more bitter your water takes. But once you bust 300 meters, your water coming back pure, straight to drink. The vegetables, it ain't no, uh, what's that stuff, like pesticide or like that the stuff that make it grow. Right. They using straight cow boo-boo, chicken boo-boo, uh, a goat boo boo, uh, uh, a horse boo boo. Right. They mix that horse boo. -boo. Man, when you spread that on that dirt with them seeds, with that water, that stuff coming up, man. And when you eat it, I'm like, this definitely don't taste like the food from America. I can tell the difference now of GMO versus real organic that's made with with fertilizer of manure. You know, manure from animals, the waste from the animals mixed with the soil, mixed with the worms is how your food come back tasting delicious, man. I actually like eating a tomato with nothing on it. It, it kind of have a sweetness to it. I like garlic now. I like I like uh, the cabbage. I like the greens. I, I, I mean, man, it just, I start appreciating vegetables based upon I've never saw this before. I appreciate how a chicken tastes, chicken breasts and chicken. Chi now the meat is a little bit more tougher when you got organic, but when they process the chicken, that's when you use, they, they, uh, it's, it's, it's a word they call it out there. Broiler, I think when they say broiler, that mean that's, that's the one that got the shots and all that. Mm. The natural one is more tougher, but the taste of it, it just, it's like, man, I, I learned so much. I do want that. I want to have that same thing here in America now. I would like to have 10 acres out here in Georgia somewhere with a water well and then doing the same thing that I learned out there. I want to mm -hmm. do that here now, too, mm -hmm. because learning out there, I'm like, it's a lot of us uh, black Americans who don't have a passport, who's never going to go to to Africa. 
So I say, well, let me start thinking about doing this same small neighborhood here in America. Mm -hmm. As long as I buy the land and I get the water and get the solar power, then I'll be able to do something like what I want to, to do there. Because in a few months or by next year, the cost of living of rent is not going down right now. The cost of rent, they keep increasing. 50 more dollars, 100 more dollars. A lot of people, when they lease is up, when they double back, 100 more been added, 150 been added, $200 more been added. So the forecast of many people from the inner cities of America, they're going to have to find a way to live outside of this high expensive, high crime. And there's going to be more people who have money that's going to buy a rural land, open land, and then have small neighborhoods of people that you could trust. People, families that will work together. Right. This family might be over dealing with slaughtering chickens and meat and all that. This family might be in charge of growing. This family might be doing security. This right. family might be doing helping to build or whatnot. Right. I learned a lot from Africa. Like you would see somebody, a man with a wife, and they got seven, eight children, right? They would look poor, but they own their land. Their house might not look like too much, but they sleep comfortable every night. It might they might don't have a car or motorcycle. They got chickens and eggs and they getting water however they gotta do it. They growing their food, they doing what they gotta do. They look poor to us, but the peace that they have, the happiness, the joy of the family life, and them being on their own, they eat dinner together, they wash their hands, and like it's just appreciation for not having a lot. And being more happy than those of us who might have two cars. Your wife got a car. Your husband got a car. Y'all got a nice house. You got all the furniture. You got flat screen TVs. You got everything, but your family not happy. Kids not lying. happy. You ain't lying. People over here, I see the difference. We got more, but we less happy. They got less. They be more at peace. And that just blew my mind. I hope I share something with some people on here that probably never heard that. They look poor and unhappy. But they look poor and they happy. <laughs> we look rich. <laughs> we got cars. We got cell phones. And man, we got PlayStations. Still ain't happy. <laughs> Bills right. driving us crazy. About to lose our house. Car finna be in foreclosure. House finna be in foreclosure. Three months behind on rent. Stressed yeah. out. Trying to look a certain way to keep up with the Joneses. Right. Stressed the hell out, brother. And the Jack is out there. And now the oh man, oh man, and the crime oh. and the murder. You can't go to the gas station at night. And you in Chicago, I see that they really do like to just kill out there, man. Like, what the hell going on? Is it they the got food? them switches? They got them switches on a little gun, and you can't control that thing, man. They shooting five, 50 bullets in a couple seconds, yes, and never hit the guy they shooting, hit everybody but him, hit everybody but him. Yep, I seen that, brother. I seen that too, brother. I seen it. And I said, you know, um, I just think that the warning that Minister Farrakhan, like people don't have to be a Muslim to learn something from that man. It's like he was telling us this a lot of years ago, but I think it just kind of crept up on us because we probably wasn't listening to him that good. Like, well, I'm a Christian. I don't listen to him. Or I'm this kind of Muslim. I don't, you know, I don't listen to him. But he like, look, y'all, we got to organize our neighborhoods. Mm. The less that the white community and government don't help us, the more hunger is going to be, which is going to produce more crime. They're giving us more drugs. They're giving us more guns. But we have to find a way, black man and woman of America, to work together to make life better for our own community because nobody coming from the outside. They just taking, they got their stores in our neighborhoods. They taking the money and they leaving us. The government got budgets. They not putting it into our neighborhoods. They putting it into something else. Like, you know, and, and now in 2023, the results of not paying attention from the Million Man March all the way to now, it's like we didn't listen. It's like we almost asked for this as a black community. Almost. Mm -hmm. That's what it kind of looks like. And it looked like God is saying, since y'all don't want to listen, go ahead and do it y'all way. Call mm -hmm. me when y'all ready. Mm -hmm. I right. think God got something going. I think God got some of his Bible where he says something about uh, 
you turn from your wicked way until you turn from your wicked ways or something, mm -hmm. then I'll hear you and hear your land. But until right. you turn from y'all, go ahead and do what you want. Cause I'm gonna let y'all go ahead until it gets so out of hand. With every knee gonna bow, everybody calling on God, whatever name you call him, whatever name, let's all get on our knees, cause this is out of hand. Our young people dying crazy, man. That's what I think I liked about Africa. Look at this. They had GDs and BDs over there. They had Crips, they had Bloods over there. Red rags, blue rags, black flag, black flag, and they really claiming it, right? I say, uh, who y'all beefing with? Oh man, we don't like them over there. Okay. Uh, how many killings have it been? Killings? Yeah, you know, like in America, when you don't like, you know, how many killings? Oh, no, 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 we're not killing, though. Mm. I said, oh, so y'all crips? Yeah, yeah, we just don't like each other. We might fight, but nah, we don't want to kill each other. Mm. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me as thugged out as y'all is with all these tattoos and got your knives and all that, y'all ain't killed nobody over there? Nah, man, we love each other out here. Mm. We just don't like them, but we but we don't want to kill each other. Mm. Damn, how in the hell? I say, well, you know what? Y'all keep this going, brother, because I'm going to tell you like this. The first person that get killed from over there or over here, they're going to be considered a martyr. And then it's going to start going back and forth. So if y'all ain't killed nobody yet, don't. Because yeah. once you start, that side ain't going to never like y'all ever again. And it's going to be back and forth killing. But out there, guns is illegal. Let me tell you this. To get your hands on a gun, even if you got a gun, you don't tell nobody that you got a gun. Because if the neighborhood find out that it's a gun over here, and one grandmama call the police and say, Lil Joey got a gun. They'll bring the whole police department over there and go house to house until they find that gun. Damn. Guns out there is only used to rob people. Mm. So there are groups of guys who do the robbing, but if you live here, you don't rob and steal right here. You go somewhere else rob and steal and sneak back, but you never tell nobody that you own a gun because if anybody... Find out that one of these young boys got a gun and call the police. The police come. They don't waste no time. They're mm. not going to allow no black on black killing going on between these hard head dudes over here and some hard head. They all shooting up this neighborhood. Mm. They're not allowing that. The army will come in and take both gangs and they disappear in the back with the alligator somewhere. Mm. I learned that over there. They like they like they black pride. They, they, they you know, the love for each other. Election time. They might do a little bit of head button and, and mm -hmm. it could be some killing going on. It could be. Mm -hmm. But enough elders and enough youth for this last election, I was there and they were saying, JT, for these next 10 days, don't be outside. Because mm -hmm. it's going to start. But every time when I was going out, I'm like, man, it don't look like it's nothing going to happen. But I'm, I'm going I'm to listen to y'all. The people had got tired because the last election, two, three hundred people got killed. Mm -hmm. Random people. This tribe feel like this tribe is getting the edge in the election. So they feel like they man still in the votes. The these folks feel like y'all man still in the votes. But this year or last year, they 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 got it together. So what's shout the, out to Fred. What's, the, what's the two big tribes in Kenya? Kikuyu is the number one tribe. Mm -hmm. Tribe that adopted me is the Kamba tribe. Hmm. Uh, uh, what's the other tribe? Kikuyu. Uh, them is the main two that I know off the top okay. of the head. Okay. They got fifty-four tribes though. Hmm. But but them two, uh, Kikuyu. I think the president right now is Kikuyu, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And then the Kamba tribe. Oh, the Maasai tribe. Oh, I take that back. Those are the ones that capture the lions. Mm -hmm. Those are the tall dudes that wear the red thing. Right. So, yeah, now the Maasai, between the Maasai and the Kikuyu is the biggest in Kenya. Kamba is behind them, too. Okay. Yeah, but shout out to all of the tribes, man. Y'all showed me love. Y'all taught me a lot over there, man. Y'all made me start saying, I don't want to come back to America for the simplicity of how much it costs to live, 
And the peace of mind that I have walking down the street at night, not thinking about who's going to jump out and shoot me. Mm. Who's over here, like over here, I think about gun play and guns and stuff like that. Over there, I'm like, shit, boy, you can't even afford a gun. If y'all gonna do something to me, you gotta do it with a knife. Mm. Cause you ain't got no gun. So mm. I already had <laughs> once I learned that, that's what made me feel confident to walk through the club. Right. I'm like, you stab, but shit, I, I can deal with that product. But then guns in America with them switches, mm. watching all these dead bodies piling up mm. from Africa, I was I was like, man, I don't even know if I want to go back to America, man. Right. But I had to, though. You had to come get the money. Right. I, this is where the money at. It might look good over there, but the money, if anybody moving to Africa have a year worth of money when you go. Like, if you're about to try to live there, first go visit. Don't send your wife, husbands, <laughs> boyfriends, <laughs> baby daddies. You go first. Scout it out. See where the mall at. See where the doctors at. See where the school at. See where the nightlife at. See where the entertainment is at. See where land is at. That's what I did before I ever brought my wife. And I brought my wife and, and five kids to, to uh, Burkina Faso. They was blowing mm -hmm. up buses and everything. I'm like, shit, this feels safer to me than being in, than being in America. Right, right. Oh, they killed 40 people in North. Hey, man, shit, they killed 40 people in Chicago. Boy, you better calm down. Right. That, this is dangerous in Chicago and Memphis, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Compton, Watts, Long Beach, Richmond, California, Oakland, San Francisco, way more murders than this whole country combined. New Orleans, hell yeah. Oh, I forgot New Orleans and Baton Rouge and Houston. Bodies on top of bodies and nobody says nothing. We are desensitized to murder over here. Right. Yeah. We, we might say, oh, they killed the little baby and then go on about our business. Oh, they shot a mother and her daughter and her, her little 14 year old son. Damn, that's fucked up. Then we go on about our business. We desensitized over here. Now, how how old are you, JT? I'm 49. God willing, I'll be 50 in the, in November 8th, Scorpio. That, that's impressive. You're impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's impressive. I'm I'm gonna have to interview you some more because people need to hear you talk. I can't believe everybody's not interviewing you. What the hell? You know, I get hated so much. It's like people scared of me. They like they, you know, I'm like a villain. I'm like the Joker or some, or uh, <laughs> or like a, a Jason, Freddy Cougar. You know, JT. He's he's he worse than Shug Knight. And he worse than Master P. He worse than all of them together. I'm like, man, I be by myself, man. I only weigh 170 pounds, man. What the hell? What the who's what y'all so scared of? I don't know how you judge somebody before you meet him. You got to actually meet him or talk to him. You know. <laughs> but yeah, you, but you know what? This is what I think, like you just said, JT, your, your name uh, precedes you before I even, like your name you already got. It. So I'm more, I'm not famous, I'm infamous. Mm. So there's people that's more famous, but I'm known amongst the poor people. I'm known in ghettos. JT right. been in our ghetto. Right. <laughs> well, you know, ghettos I, like, you know, I'm in the music business. So in the music business, you're in the top one third. <laughs> Come on with it. I said, in the music business, we know who you are. Come now, on, man. In the music business, they don't know. But if you do music, or you, music, you know JT. Mm-hmm. No, nah, man, and, and I wouldn't have no problem coming back, brother. Uh, I believe as, as this year go by, now that I'm back in America, I just believe that these first three months started off with my name buzzing for all the bullshit, all the hate. Oh, JT, JT, JT. But on my channel... I'm not fighting back with words and talking crazy. I'm just showing text messages and receipts. And I'm like, shit, y'all can say what you want, man. I'm, you can't go to Africa and be scamming, boy. And live there, too? Right. You're going to jail. Right. And, or you might die. I agree. I would have seen it. So you ain't you straight. I would have seen it. You straight. I'd be you outside. going to jail, buddy. I've been, out, no I've been outside. You straight. That's the straight final up. word on that. You straight. straight I know. Come on. We'll know. Some of hey. these dudes, they ain't, they ain't outside. So they how they going to judge you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anybody outside, they going to know, okay, he's straight. Yeah, come on, man. Stop trying to sell that boogeyman shit, bro. I ain't doing nothing. Come on, man. But, you know, I think um, I think this it's just something about that that I kind of I kind of start liking. Well, I ain't going to say I like it, but I'm like, 
if they talking about these folk making videos for two hours, three hours, four hour long videos with my name as the topic, right? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you just made 40 videos, 30 videos. What? Who's listening to this? But like, this is my name. They infatuated with me. Like, well, well, they, well they made a, the mistake they make is they supposed to bring you over there. Like what I did. I ain't just jump on here off of the sister. If they bring you over there, everything they saying to change. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta meet somebody you can't be talking from a distance. Yeah. You know yeah. Because I mean? from a distance, well, I, I appreciate meet. you even wanting to bring me on because most people who do a video with somebody accusing me of something. They'd be like, yep, that lady telling the truth. She got to be telling the truth. But this time, you the first one to say, well, hold on. Let me see now. Yeah, it's two sides uh, of every story. It's two sides of every story. So I got to hear both sides. I'm not jumping out the window. You feel me? Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. right off the top, the husband didn't go. So I was sad. I, you know what I'm saying? Because where I come from, my daddy not sending my mama to Africa. That man told me. JT, I'm coming. And at the last minute, JT, I'm not coming, but I'm going to send my wife. And she came out there with the BS, and I told him, I said, bro, your wife out here trip. He's like, nah, 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 just give her a chance, bro. Just give her a chance, man. We're going to work through it. Nah, nigga, you was in on this. I think he sent her out there so they could get me tangled up in something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh-uh. No. No, thank I you. I understand. I understand whatever you say. You say because I don't. I don't be getting myself along with no women. I don't do that because that gonna she gonna say I did this and that, and I'm gonna be guilty regardless what I say. If you go in that house at twelve o'clock at night, and she say he touched my breast, he was grabbing my thigh, my coochie, and something. Hey, 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 what? You going to prison? Oh, I did it. Yeah, you, you try to approach me. You're going nah, to prison. Nah, yeah, nah, you're going nah, to prison. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, 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 there's a book called The Holy Quran with a story about a man named Joseph. And Joseph was hated by, because of his visions and his ideas for his from his brothers, his people. They, they didn't like his big ideas. So they figured out a plan. They wanted to kill him at first. And they're like, nah, let's throw him in a ditch and sell him to some folk that's walking by. So they end up selling Joseph. He end up in Egypt at one of Pharaoh's man's house. Pharaoh, uh, one of his soldiers or some adopted Joseph. So one day, the husband gone and the wife lied on Joseph, like, hey, you know, let's get it on while my husband gone. He's like, hey, hey, hold on, <laughs> hold on. No, Allah forbid. So uh, the lady, Joseph tried to get out the house. The lady chasing him to the door. Why they get to the door, the husband right there. She like, oh yeah, he tried to do something. He like, uh, hold on. The the person working at the in the house say, if his shirt messed up from the front, she telling the truth. But if he trying to get up out of there and his shirt messed up from the back, she is she is lying. So the husband seen that her the shirt was from the back. So the lady was like, okay, so you playing with me? I'm putting your ass in jail. I'm putting Joseph in jail. He said, oh, Allah, the jail is more sweeter than what she was offering. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you know that them allegations, Joseph's name ended up getting clear? Right. The lady had to confess. Yeah, I, I was wrong. I was out of pocket. I was wrong. And they end up putting, jo Joseph ended up becoming what his vision told him. And that story, I started thinking about that lady She's inviting me, and I'm like, no. So when I said no, she went to the police and said, put him in jail. I said, shit, I'd rather go to jail than yeah. be, be over here because I'm going to clear my name. I got paperwork. Yeah. And when the when the jail people seen the paperwork, why they kept tapping me like, this lady's crazy, man. She made up all this stuff about you, but you got text messages. You got your, your lawyer that came. We, we, we got to let you go. Just give her her money back so she can help and get out this goddamn police station. <laughs> she start asking for $20,000, man. Mm. She say, I want $20,000 for my pain and suffering. The police like, what? Man, 
man, if you don't get your ass up out of here, she was a scam artist. She was the real scam artist. She tried to get $20,000 from me. Mm. Literally. I wish I could have got on there while she was on there talking. Did you try to get me for $20,000 and you only spent $1,600? What the hell going on? What mm. you and your husband got going on? Mm. Hell no, nah, man. Try to set old JT up. My real name, Joseph, too. So I mm. always read that story. Like, I know I'm not that man, but I learned. Don't go around nobody. Marry wife. That's don't right. go around them. Don't get in no car with them. Don't go in no house because some stuff can happen and your ass could be in jail or get killed messing with somebody's wife. Uh uh. Well, no. brother, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's good for my audience to hear both sides of the story. So teach them how to be fair and balanced. I really ain't got nothing. I can't check you no kind of way. You was right and exact. I had a whole list I was going to check you. You done told my whole list up. I can't even say shit to you because you was right and exact. So, hey, <laughs> case closed. You know what I mean? Case closed, black case man. Closed. Nah, real talk. And shout out to everybody who was rooting for me that was, like, you know, coming to my page. Like, JT, bro, they saying a lot of stuff. But I watched you from the day one, see, with your wife and kids and everything. These folk, the police, some agents of chaos or something, jealous people, envious of you. They want to destroy you because look at how they're going out their way making all these videos. But I know you, JT. That's not you, brother. You just stay positive, man. You stay on your path. So I want to thank everybody for encouraging me not to use my mouth and go reckless on my page and do all that because I was like, it was Ramadan anyway. So I was like, ooh, when Ramadan over, I'm going to tear their head off. But even in the midst of that, I say, nah, God don't like ugly and God don't even like revenge in a bad way. But God wants you to defend yourself. If you accuse of something, he definitely say defend yourself and put forth the evidence so that you can clear your name. This video right here, I feel like I cleared my name so much that I'm not even going to talk about this too much more on my I would, channel. I wouldn't if I was you. And, you know, you, we don't want you to go back to the field more, JT. We like this one. <laughs> this person, that's right, man. We I, already know how that could have went, right? All right? They just don't know the story. I know the stories when you was around pocket now. So I know the story. You know what I mean? So we don't want that JT. We like this JT better. I don't believe you right, right. I don't believe you're scamming because you will still be in prison in Africa. I don't believe it. I will be under the prison. Nigga, you from America scam. We got our own scammers. You think we gonna let you come? <laughs> Straight, up. Straight up. I don't believe it. You know, everything I've seen is right and exact. I wish more luck to you. I wish the best to you. And I'm definitely going to get with you so you can help me out over there because you already in the door. And when we get brothers get in the door and get information, we need to ride with them because you like a pioneer. You getting us into Africa. That's a fact. That's a fact, brother. And I can't wait to help, brother. And I know the painful parts I've been through, I can share. And I could share the good parts that I could share. Like, I got both sides. But it was more good than pain because anything new, you got to go through some type of pain. Everything just can't be all perfect. What's the downside, JT? We're going to talk about that on the next Hey, segment. bro. Over here, over here, we done been shot and stabbed and don't nothing compare to that. <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm saying? You've been through way worse than this internet shit. Straight yeah. up, brother. Straight yeah. up. All right, man. Love you, bro. Stay strong, all right? Love you, too. Thank you, brother. Peace right. to everybody in the chat, too, man. All right. Salute. So that's the, that's it. So I have nothing I can say after that. I can't really say nothing. I still got love for the sister. I just got love for her and her husband. There's two sides of every story. He was very convincing. The text messages was not a good look. A lot of mistakes was made on Samira and her husband made some mistakes. I think it just put this to rest. Both sides just chill out. Just let it just let it be over with. You know what I'm saying? Neither side has to get trashed. Just let it go. It, it was a business move or whatever. It didn't work out. Next story. That's not, you know, that's not harp on this situation. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, let's not harp on this. Let's let it go. And let's definitely, unless we got evidence on JT, strong evidence, you know, let's not, you know, trash your brother. You know, I was a little suspicious, but, you know, I mean, the brother, you know, once I talked to the brother, you know, any suspicions I had was bogus. You mean shit. You got a car like you called. The brother's legit. You know what I'm saying? The brother's legit. I'm definitely going to get some money to JT. I'm going to get some money to JT. I'm definitely going to get me some of that land in Kenya. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to get some money to him and make it happen. I'm going to get my passport. I'm planning to go to Egypt anyway in Ethiopia or Kenya. I could just put Kenya on the list. But from what I heard, I've been sold. From what he just said to me, I'm ready to invest with him, straight up. Because I've seen him over there with the kings and, 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 and the chiefs over there. I've seen, I watch before I do anything. And with me, if he's going over there getting land and putting water on it, and the price is going up, I want to get in. I want to I want to get in. I'm in. I mean... He's a pioneer. I look at him as a pioneer, like next generation from my generation. We was the generation to start pushing going back to Africa, and he's 50, right? He's 15 years younger than me. He's the next generation that's going to actually make it happen. You know what I mean? I mean, he counted plus. You know, he counted plus. I mean, this was... This, this, you know, this was not a good look. I don't see him, you know, in all these messages, I see him saying, bless, blessings, hope you feel better. I see him saying, you good. Uh, I see him saying, keep praying. May God's blessing be with you. But then I see her saying, offended, nigga. And... My attitude should have been shitty a long time ago, and you know, and uh, telling her purse, you know, telling on her husband, you know, she, you know, she's younger too, so I'm not gonna hold this against her, but I mean, to go over there and do business and tell, you know, it was just a lot, you know. And, it took a lot for me to sh show that because I don't get in people's business, but I had to, he has to defend himself. So now I got to show something because I really like Samira, right? So I really wasn't comfortable showing her text and telling this man business that she wasn't supposed to tell him. But JT has to defend himself. And I can't stop him from showing what evidence he feels uh clears his name and with his evidence and the fact she went over there by herself because i mean this all starts from the husband sending his wife over there by herself what do you want me to say with much respect to her husband you know i respect him but they don't call me the realest nigga alive for nothing and I'm not, I got to tell the facts. And the facts is her going all the way to Africa without her husband. Don't sit right with me. You know, if it's my daughter and my daughter's husband sent my daughter all the way to Africa by herself, it'll be smoke over that. Like, my, I'm not sending my mother, my auntie, my kid, no women in my family am I sending all the way to Africa by themselves. So as a man, as a husband, as a father, as a grandfather, that don't sit right with me. Right there, that, you know, you know, if he goes, a lot of this is avoided. You send a woman and now she's a target. You know, as men, once we see you by yourself, you know, we hunting that. You're an available woman. And then you if you tell me you got a husband and you're all the way in Africa without him, I'm going to think, okay, this relationship is not strong. I can take her from him. I mean, so I got love for him, but uh, uh, JT wins the case. 
over here in the court in Pharaoh's court. <laughs> it's open and closed. Uh, I have to ride with him on this one. You know? He cleared his name, as far as I'm concerned. And so I hope you all learned something, you know? I hope you learned something from this. One thing as a learn is, you know, don't, if you feel some way about somebody, keep it to yourself. It's all right for you to be suspicious, but don't go on a big campaign because you might be wrong. So just imagine if I would have just did a live, just dragged JT for a whole live. Because I have said some things like, oh, man, why he leave Burkino? And people came and all that. But now that I talk to him, that's petty. He, legit. He went where they can speak English, where he can get more done. Boom. I mean, great answer. If I asked you, I'd say, bro, you went to Burkino. Tell everybody you came to Burkino and left. And he said, yeah, but when I got to Burkino, I thought I can get more done in Kenya. Ugh, good point. See what I'm saying? I might got questions about a movie make that I don't like. But until he tells me why he made the move, I have to hold my judgment to my chest until he tell me. Because sometimes they'll tell you why they did something, and then you go, oh, okay. But you didn't jump all out the window because they did something before you talk to them. That's bogus. Like, talk to them to find out if you right and exact. So now a lot of things I was beginning to think about them. I was all the way wrong. I was all the way over here and he way over there. You know what I mean? I was way over here but I ain't never jump all the way out the window. That's why when I interviewed her, I really didn't say a lot. I just let her talk because I don't know just because I think something don't mean I know it. You feel me? And when I talk to the man, shit, he seemed legit to me. He finna get my money. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, I'm finna send him some money. Definitely, definitely, I'm finna be on the phone with him. Bro, I need some of that land over there. How much I need to send you? Hook me up with your lawyer. Then I'm gonna get your lawyer to get me another lawyer. And Shit, I'm from the, I'm from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. I'm from America. And I spend the money and I lose it. So what? You know what I mean? We rolls the dice. How many times we go to the boat and lose money? So I, you know, we ain't really crying over investment and we lose. We don't care. Sometimes you roll the dice and you say, "If I win, this is big. If I lose, it ain't as." low as it is big, like, here where you at. If you lose, you there. If you win, you there. Oh, I'm finna take a chance losing like this to win like this all day. All day, I roll them dice. Okay, I can take this loss. I can take that, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pass this kind of win for this kind of loss. Oh, hell no. Scared money don't make money. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm finna roll down, brute. I'm finna roll the dice. I'm definitely finna get me some of that land over there, but I'm not stupid. Listen, I'm finna be on this phone blowing it up. I'm finna get me some of that. I'm in. He over here trying to get some money to stack it. Yeah, that was really actually motivational. I'm like, Okay, so you back to stack money because when you go over there, you could do more. All right. <laughs> I'm actually stacking some money right now. Hmm. Uh, hey, shit. I'm all just gave me game. Boy, I got to interview him a lot. He, put, he could put us up on some game. Because I was over there watching trap flicks a lot. And then I just kind of stopped because I ain't really know what was going on. You know, I had, you know, my own kind of little hangups. But, you know, ain't nothing like hearing it straight from the horse's mouth. You know, a brother bent on the ground. 
You know, he was boots on the ground. And he come back telling us, get your money over here. It's a little shaky over here economically. But he's going to try to do the same thing over there. He see them doing over there. And then put some money over there and get you a spot over there. And I'm like, hell yeah. If I can get, even if I'm not living over there, if I can get a spot over there and go check on it every now and then, I, especially if it's a community and I got a spot with that side of community, oh, hell yeah, because you can't just come in the community and take my spot. Like if I live here and Blanche live next door and then Blanche go to Europe or whatever, I'm not going to let you come next door up in Blanche house. If you're not Blanche, what you're doing in here? No, this ain't just Blanche house. So if I get some neighbors that know that's my spot, and then I can come back over here and build up more bread and I ain't got to worry about nobody messing with my spot. Oh, it's up. I got to give me some of that. If I don't do nothing but to give it to my kids. You know what I'm saying? I give that shit to my kids. Hey, I'm at you, Fillmore Africa. On my soul, I'm at you. Boy, I got to get on that, boy. Y'all know we get down, boy. I'm not finna pass that opportunity. That man just gave us game, boy. Boy, y'all better get on that. Y'all better send that man some money and make some donations. Y'all should make some donations to bro. I swear, I swear to God. Because he had been over there feeding them people. I seen it with my own eyes. I seen him in Burkino feeding them people. He ain't lying about that. He ain't lying about that. I definitely, definitely need, we definitely need to be supporting, bro. I'm definitely going to be making just donations just for him to do. I don't give a damn what he do with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't give a damn what he do with it. He can spend his kids, his wife, whatever. It's like this. You know, like you got a wife, you got a woman, and you break up, and she got the kids. And she taking care of the kids. She feeding the kids and all that. I send her $500. She go buy her a dress and stuff like that. Well, you say, I give you the money to get the kids. Well, she taking money where she could have bought her dress to take care of the kids. That's why she couldn't buy the dress. She been feeding your baby. So when you send her the money, let her do what she going to do with it. And I can see if the babies ain't eating and all that. But if she taking care of the babies already, why am I count her pockets? Why she can't take some money and spend it for herself? considering so much of her money going to the kids. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, yeah, salute to the brother. Brother doing good. The brother doing good work. His reputation preceding the man is a hustler. Everybody outside hustling know that JT be getting money. He a hustler from the rooter to the tutor. So now you're not going to just take a hustler now and take away his hustling credentials. The man been getting money. man been hustling. Man was working with the game before Black was. Feel me? So that was a great interview. Well impressive. I got to get him over here some more to update. I got to get him to come update. I can't believe everybody ain't I interviewing, bro. Black folks, get yourself together. So I hope y'all enjoyed the interview. Stay out of the beef. Stay out of down talking that man. Talk to that man yourself. Stay out of them type of situations. If you don't know what's going on, picking sides, you don't even know what the hell going on. And I hope both sides uh, get it together. You know, and it's time to move on. You know what I'm saying? On my soul, you know? And uh, that's what it is. Respect is due. And much respect to all the brothers and sisters in Africa, all right? Victory.